School of the Arts now underway in downtown Grand Rapids. It's being celebrated in person this year after COVID forced that cancellation last year. Organizers are inviting people to come out and enjoy the festivities, especially now that COVID restrictions are starting to lift. News aide's Ruben Juarez joins us now with all the details. Ruben. Hey, Michelle, organizers originally thought COVID would cause a second straight cancellation of the in-person event. And while things may look different this year without festivities at Calder Plaza or food vendors along Ottawa Avenue, artists will still get a chance to showcase their skills. I've been at Glen Park. Oh, no. it, ah, yeah. The wind may knock her painting down, but nothing can knock down Adora Trossel's spirit when there's a brush in her hand and a canvas to create. Art is a, a spiritual like practice. Trossel first expressed her artistic ways with her voice. I sang and then I was in a car wreck and it, it like totally tore apart everything that I know as art. art. Oh. Painting allowing her to find a new way to express herself. She's thrilled to be a part of this year's festival. I think it's very exciting. I, I, um, I, I hope that the viewers get a different appreciation for our seeing art made live. Trosol is one of many artists working on paintings around the downtown area as part of this year's unique setup. We knew we needed to create something completely different and unique uh, to be able to celebrate the arts. So this year is plein air by Festival of the Arts. We have artists all over the downtown core uh, doing urban landscape painting as well as we have musicians that will be performing tomorrow, June 5th, all up and down Monroe Center and Ottawa, Ottawa Avenue. With COVID restrictions easing up, Executive Director David Abbott putting out a call to the public. Come down, celebrate that Grand Rapids is finally opening up again at the restaurants and the bars, eat outdoors, drink outdoors, listen to music and watch art happen. The art fans like Charlotte Werner Ambrose are listening. So probably I volunteered for 45 of them. We met the former Sparta High School art teacher at an event celebrating some of festival's historical figures. The art teacher couldn't resist to bring the tools of her trade. I'm maturing and the paintbrush is not quite so heavy. <laughs> and I could do my heart's content as expressing myself. Festival runs through Sunday. We have more information on when and where artists will be performing on woodtv.com. Reporting in studio, Ruben Juarez, News 8.